Green, the man charged with murdering his four children, earned his parole. Good to have you with us for Local 4 News at 6. Two weeks to the day after the quadruple Dearborn Heights murders and the surprises just keep on coming. Well, listen to this, Devin. Gregory Green earned his parole eight years ago and the help came from the now grieving grandfather. Rod Maloney joins us now. He's got this part of the story. You've been on this from the start. And can you tell us more about this new and stunning revelation? Well, yes, it, it turns out that uh, Gregory Green, the man who's charged with murdering the four children, had a good relationship with his future father-in-law because he was also his pastor. And his father-in-law had gone to bat for him to get him out of prison on his first murder. Faith Green unexpectedly appeared in court today in a wheelchair, a puzzling question all along what and whether she knew about her husband's murderous past. Faith's ex and father of her two oldest children, Chadney Allen Sr., told Local 4 News the day after the carnage. I didn't know any of that, and I'm, I'm surprised. I'm so shocked. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, did she know about it? You know, how could she not know about it and be involved with someone like that? She had two kids with the guy. While it turns out Faith and her family knew well, Green served 16 years in state prison for stabbing his pregnant wife to death in 1996. MDOC documents chronicling Green's repeated attempts at parole show Faith's father, Apostle Fred Harris, seen here at the funeral, back to the camera and the gray hair, not only knew Green, but visited him in prison and even wrote support letters. In an August 2005 letter to the parole board, he said, quote, Gregory and I were friend before his mishap and he was incarcerated. I feel he has paid for his unfortunate lack of self-control and the damage he has caused as much as possible and is sorry. This will not restore the lives that were taken. He will carry that with him for the rest of his life. Then the next year he wrote, quote, while interacting with Gregory, I have noticed a great deal of growth and his understanding has matured quite a bit, end quote. Meantime, Michigan Attorney General Bill Schutte is deeply concerned only two parole board members approved Green's 2008 parole. We'll look at it. I'm sure there'll be, there are a lot of interesting people uh, looking into this, and I'll be one of those. Peace and blessings, everyone. I am back with another true crime and tarot reading. And I truly hope you guys enjoyed the first one when I was talking about Chris Watts and the murders of the beautiful Shanann and her family. I hope it gave you guys some insight, more insight into that case. And Shanann truly came through in that reading. But this reading on today is about Gregory Green. And if you have not heard about this case, oh my God, I was just blown away. And the reason why I was blown away was because this man literally killed his family twice. Yes, you heard me right. He killed his family twice. And the first time he did this, he killed his girlfriend and their unborn child. And he literally called the police and sat there and waited for them to come and arrest him. So he's in prison, but his pastor, whom he was friends with prior to the first killings, goes to bat for this man, writes less the parole board, just goes in for him, him and some other people, but mainly his church family. And also I hear that Gregory Green was a, a good inmate per se. He wasn't getting into any trouble. He was like doing positive things in prison. So after his third denial, the fourth time he went in front of the parole board, he was granted parole with the help of his pastor, okay? But the kicker is after he gets out, he then marries the pastor's daughter, Faith, which is now Faith Green. And she goes on to have two children by this man that murdered his first family. And she also had two children from a previous relationship. So altogether, she had four children. So, God, oh my God. So I just, I'm just like speechless right now because I just don't understand. But we're going to get into that in the reading, all right? Okay, so from my understanding, I think she was in the process of leaving him because he started exhibiting abusive traits or doing things. So that shouldn't have been a surprise, but uh, hey. Um, so yeah, she had planned on leaving him. And this man turned around and killed all four children. Two of them, which he killed in front of her. And he badly beat her 
I think he cut her or I'm not sure exactly what her injuries were, but she didn't die. But he murdered all four of their children, called the police and sat there until the police came like he did with the first one. Man, I just, this just says a lot to me. I'm not going to say too much right now. We're just going to get into the reading. The pastor that's all I keep hearing the pastor. He must have some guilt. His guilt has to just be through the roof. Because you went to bat for this man. This man marries your daughter. You agree to this. This man becomes the father of your grandchildren. And he turns around and kills them. But this is why I feel like religion blocks common sense. I don't believe that this man did not feel in his spirit he shouldn't do this i know there was a voice in his head at some point to say hey this is not a good idea but he neglected to listen to that voice and wanted to stick with the word of god forgiveness everybody deserves a second chance type thing and look what happened look at the repercussions from that so we're going to talk about um gregory green i want to get into his childhood like i like to do i like to see what created this monster what type of childhood he had what type of person he was prior to the first killings i also want to touch on faith green what made her want to marry this man because i empathize with her i truly do but she ignored all of the red flags she ignored everything this man is convicted murderer of a family and he came back and killed your family so to me, what made you think you would be different from his first family? What made you think that he would not hurt you like he hurt his first family? So that's the questions I want to know. That's the questions I'm going to ask in this reading. So let's get to it. All right, I'm going to use my tarot deck and also use my shadow oracle and maybe even some other decks throughout this reading because I do want to know what the beautiful kids have to say on the other side, what messages they may have for their mother. It's four children, actually five children, and a woman who have lost their lives to this man. And he literally haven't really given a reason. So that's what I want to know. I want to know what may have caused Gregory Green to be the man who he is. Show me spirit. Show me him as a child. What led to this man becoming a murderer of children and women? Why? I call upon the spirit of the children on today and his first wife. I don't know her name, you guys. I'm sorry. I don't know her name. It's just so many people and so many things. So I just don't know her name, but spirit knows who I'm talking about. Show me spirit. All right, let's see. All right, so let's take a look at these first set of cards. Okay, so the Four of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles to me is signifying that he may have struggled with finances in his life. I'm not sure his family was poor, but um, I feel like he comes from a family who struggled with money. Money always was slipping through their hands. So it was always a, a, it was always a situation where they needed money. Um, maybe they always had to borrow money. They didn't have, he didn't have the life he felt that he should have had growing up, okay? That's basically what it's saying. Even if he did, maybe they weren't poor, but he felt like they weren't where they needed to be financially. And his mother, the Queen of Pentacles, was very, um, very involved in his life. I feel like his mother um, was the person to hold things together. Whether it was financially, whether it was emotionally, his mother was a very prominent part of his life. I don't sense that he had a really bad childhood, to be honest. I don't, I don't sense that he came from a bad family. Um, if he did, it's not showing in these cards. But I do feel that he had a need to get away. The Seven of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Even though he had a good family, his mother loved him. Um, he just was not happy as a child. He just was not happy with how things were. How things were. His mother 
made him do things he didn't want to do. Like, hey, you're not going to hang out in these streets. You're not going to do this. You're going to go to school. You're going to be somebody. I think she really was on him about being a productive citizen, okay? But I think just as a kid, like he... It didn't register to him. Like, he hated that. He hated a woman telling him what to do. He hated a woman, um, his mother, being someone telling him how to live his life. So this is why we have the Seven of Swords and Nine of Swords. He was unhappy. He was miserable. He wanted to get away from that life. He wanted to... He couldn't wait till he was grown to get out on his own, basically. The Seven of Swords and Nine of Swords also show me that he started doing illegal activities very early. So he wanted to get away. So he started doing things to get away. Stealing, um, you know, just petty theft, uh, just petty crimes um, to get away and also rebel from his life at home. So that's what the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Swords show me. We got the Lovers and Ace of cups so when he got away from his family even with all of that he was a criminal but he also was a lover so he was like the ladies man as you can see he's not a bad looking person so when he was younger he was high stuff honey and he used his looks he used his charisma he used his 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 looks to get women he knew the right words to say honey he knew how to um sweet talk you he knew how to make you drop them panties that's why we have the ace of cups he had a lot of women he was a lover of women and the women loved him he was like ll cool j honey and he used his body he used his wit he used his sexuality um to get women so he was the bad boy, basically. He was the bad boy type. <laughs> so, and he never had a problem with getting women. And his family in the background trying to tell him, hey, get your life together. I didn't raise you like this. The queen of pentacles, that's his mom. I didn't raise you like this. Why are you out here living this life? Why are you, why are you out here sleeping with all these women? Why are you doing all this? I didn't raise you to be that type of person. So, yeah. Let's see what else comes up. Show me... What else we need to know about Gregory Green before his first killing? Right. Okay, so we have a lot of female energy in these cards right here. He was the type to come in save the day he made women feel that i love you i will take care of you i'm this good man like i said he was a ladies man he had the right words to say he knew the right words to say but he sought out certain type of women okay um he liked all types of women but the ones he got in serious relationships with were certain types of women he loved women that loved hard that was sweet that who were in need or missing something in their lives that's why we have the nine of pentacles we have the queen of swords he looked for real sweet loving women a women with a certain demeanor a women who were lacking love or been in abusive relationships or just in past relationships that really broke them that's what the type of women that he sought out and women that was bored in their overall life wanted excitement who wanted a family who wanted that type of life that's what he looked for he looked for really a docile women very soft women sweet women loving women who was looking for a change in their life who liked the bad boy so he brought that spice that excitement into their lives okay so that's who Gregory was that's who he was before he he murdered his first girlfriend and his unborn child that's the one women that he sought out he is the seven of wands here that you see and we also have the will of fortune the seven of pentacles represent the women as well but the seven of wands is him giving them that hope uh making it seem as if i am i'm the one who's going to save the day you know don't worry about anything i am here we're going to i'm going to love you i'm going to give you all the things that you want and need you know we're going to build together the seven of pentacles are these women waiting for a lot of these 
hopes and dreams and promises to happen okay so usually i use this card as my nurturer card but for this reading this kind of represents the women waiting for all these these promises to unfold for him to not only talk to talk but walk to walk all right we have the two of swords these women um just going in not paying attention not noticing all the red flags with this man even prior to the murders so he was just a finesse of women basically that's what this is saying he was a finesse of women he said the right things he was attractive he was a ladies man he just you know got off on those types of things and he loved those types of women that he can manipulate all right what else we got two of pentacles uh, swords a star ace of pentacles all right so these cards for me is saying yes the king of cups we have and the star yeah he was a master manipulator of who he really was he overdid everything he was a romantic you hear me? If you wanted somebody to lay it down, he laid it down. And that's how he got these women sexually as well. He got them sexually as well. He was always a player. He juggled many women at many different times. That's why we have the two of pentacles here. Trying to balance, trying to juggle, juggle. So what I'm getting from these cards here is someone who was just, man, he was just a player. He was out here committing crimes, doing little petty things. He was a typical bad boy out here um, finessing women, you know, telling them what they want to hear, laying down good sex, you know, just that's how he was. And this is how his baby mother, the first one, his girlfriend at that time, that's how he got her. He literally had her wrapped around his finger. Um, but I feel like it eventually changed. That's why we have the Ten of Swords here. Um, he started being abusive. He started showing his true colors. He started showing his true self when she started questioning him about certain things. He was not living up to a lot of things that he promised her. He did not bring forth those things. He started to um, just talk. Talk. He was a good talker. He used to talk shit. Um, about what he's going to do or what he's want to do, but he never made those things happen. And so at some point, this woman starts saying, hey, you're not, you know, what's going on? You're not being the man you said you was going to be. We're not living the life you said we were going to live. And she started calling him out because like I said, he was a dog. He was a player. So he cheated on her a lot. He did those things. And so that's when the abuse starts to happen. The Ten of Swords. Okay, so at some point she started realizing who this man really was. She wanted to get out. She wanted to get out. All right, let's see what else comes up. All right, show me. Use me as a vessel. Oh, I got one card. Look, the double card. Ten of Wands. Were they going to get married? I know she was his girlfriend, but I feel like they were supposed to get married or they talked about marriage. But um, the double card has came up with the temperance. Yeah, man, he was. Yeah, I think he tried to influence her to do certain things she did not want to do. And this is sexually. He has a very high sex drive. So I don't know if he was into like making her do threesomes or doing things like that. But he wanted her to do things she really didn't want to do. He was very toxic. He had a lot of um, sexual deviance in him, sexual deviant behavior. Um, and she tried to, I feel like she tried to um, cater to that at a certain extent, but it was too much. Like he wanted he really wanted to manipulate the situation. So I could see him wanting to do threesome, maybe want to get another woman in the picture. But it was just a big imbalance in their relationship. It was too much. And she realized this is not for me. But he definitely abused her. I do sense sexual abuse. I do sense physical abuse. I do sense 
him making her do things she really didn't want to do sexually or try to convince her to do those things and that wasn't her cup of tea she may have tried and she was like look no i don't want to do those things i want us to be together i want us to be a family i want us to be um the 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 couple that you said we were going to be i want us to be the family you say you wanted us to be all right so she started to see those traits in him that she didn't like um yeah that's basically it for this reading why did he kill his first girlfriend and baby why did he kill them show me spirit why did gregory green kill his girlfriend and unborn child we know that he killed them i think she was leaving car came out why did he kill her but but i want to see what else comes up what the cards show us let's see why did he kill his first girlfriend and his unborn child oh that one's trying to come out all right why why she wanted to leave him she wanted to leave him she got tired of the the lies and in, in, in the games that he played even though she loved him she wanted to marry him but everything it just wasn't going as he said it was she started seeing a side of him she did not agree to that she didn't like she did not like what she was seeing she saw the darkness and she wanted to get away and we have the, the queen of swords her taking charge her um cutting out um the negativity that he brings she wanted to get away from all of that and and he did not like that at all he did not like that at all she was like, it's time for me to go. It's time for me to go. It's time for me to go. All right, what else we need to know? Coming. What else we need to know? that she was taking away their children their future like i said she was pregnant so the six of cups represent this is what he saw in his mind he was like you're taking away my family our future together he wanted he really wanted to, to be where even though he was doing all these sick things he was cheating on her and abusive his sick mind he still wanted that family he still wanted the six of cups um but it 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 was not she was not she didn't want it the page of swords she didn't want it she was ready to go she was like look i am done i am out of here i gotta take care of me and my child you are not the one you gave me all these promises and you told me you was gonna make life differently you told me you was gonna you know show me this beautiful life that didn't happen we got the knight of swords that's her letting him know hey you told me we was going to have this life, this life of fun, adventure, of love. And it's not what I got. This is not what you gave me. You gave me a false sense of love, King of Cups. You say that you love me, but you didn't show me the type of love that I needed, that I wanted. It wasn't what you told me. So in his mind, he loved her. He loved her a hundred percent but it wasn't love didn't stop him from cheating on her love didn't stop him from being manipulative love didn't stop him from being abusive so in his mind he was like i love you i want to have this family with you and you want to freaking leave me oh no the lover's card the ten of one like you wanted to leave me you were animated about it and i had to stop you i had to stop you that's all these cards are saying that's what his reason was. That's what his reasons were. That's all it was, y'all. He didn't want her to leave. She got tired of his foolishness. And he was like, oh, no. You ain't going nowhere. If I can't have you, nobody can have you. See? The moon card. Death. Look. This fool really sick. He felt like he loved her for real. He felt like, no. No. 
if I'm not going to have you, nobody's going to have you. You see, the queen of wands is reversed. Five of wands, conflict, a fight, death, death, secrets, moon, deception. Even though he was doing all these things, lying to her, um, deceiving her, keeping these secrets from her, you know, he wanted her to stay like even though I'm doing all this to you, you supposed to still stay. You still supposed to love me. You ain't supposed to go nowhere. That is, that is what he was thinking. That's how he was feeling. And now we have the death card represents her death. He kills her after a conflict because I feel like he was saying that I love you, trying to convince her to stay and then wind up being an argument. Maybe she said something of i don't want this i don't want to be with you no more or whatnot start calling him out on his bullshit start questioning him about secrets start asking him about things i truly believe she found out some things that he clearly did want her to know about and that could be maybe some criminal things it can be something about another woman anything but she started demanding answer she started demanding what's going on you are not the person you told me you were you showed me i need answers and he got pissed off in an argument a battle happened okay. so a conflict happened a fight happened which led to her death okay so this is what happened with the first murder which is oh my god this man is just I just I have no words to describe this man and he literally called the police after he murdered her and sat there for them to arrest him I just I don't know okay so for the next portion of this reading we're going to pull out the shadow oracle deck you know I like to find out about the dark side of these people um the shadow side who they are at the core of themselves and let's see what the shadow oracle has to show us regarding gregory okay so i have my deck here and we're going to ask who is gregory green at the core of himself his shadow self what trauma he may have been dealing with what darkness that he has in his heart what is being unsaid? What is hidden from everyone? What is he keeping from us? And the crazy thing is, I don't really sense like demonic possession or anything like that. I don't sense that. I do sense like a attachment, like a spirit influence though. But you'd think somebody like that be demon possessed, but I don't, I feel like he's influenced though if you don't know what i mean by spiritual attachments you can check out my video i have regarding spiritual attachments and what it means it doesn't mean demon possession all right so let's see unity energy cleansing ancestral strength compass okay so from these cards i know they don't look like bad cards you know you probably thought you was gonna see like a a murder card or something no it's just it's giving me an outline though of who he is um he had a hard time with connecting with people um i feel that he does have ancestral influence but the influence that i'm feeling is not a good influence we always talk about ancestors you guys and this is a spiritual attachment this is the attachment that I was just speaking on. Whomever is connected to him is an ancestor, but not a good ancestor. So it can be uh, someone down his bloodline who may have murdered someone or may even have killed his family. And they're redoing that crime through him. Okay, do you understand what I'm saying? They're redoing that. They're influencing him. They're influencing him because he reminds them of themselves. And that's one thing people call upon ancestors. And this is why it's so important. We have people that's connected to us that aren't good ancestors. So when you are calling upon your ancestors, you should always say, I call upon the ancestors that bring love and light. 
Um, you can also say the ones that are known and unknown, but also make mention that you only want the ancestors that bring love and light around you. Now, everybody in our family is good. We have murderous um, uncles. You have, you know, molesters. They have family members that, you know, you have no clue about who've done bad things. So you call upon your ancestors. You call in everybody. That means the good ancestors, the bad ancestors. But in his case, he didn't, I don't think he called on him, but this person had a special attachment to him. And it may be an ancestor he knows. I don't know if it's his grandfather or an uncle, but I feel it's a male figure who is very attached to him in, uh, in the spirit world that influences him in the natural world. Things. I don't know his family background. Y'all can verify that with me, please do. But I don't know if it's on his mother's side or his father's side, but he has a very dark ancestor, a very dark person that's related to him, that is attached to him, that has influenced this man to kill. Okay? So he definitely needs spiritual cleansing. That's why we have... The energy cleansing card. Like I said, he has a spiritual attachment. Of course, he's going to need spiritual cleansing. So this is why this card came up. And it's going to take a lot. Like this man is like deeply... Like it's it's bad. Like the attachment he has is very, very strong and powerful. He needs someone who knows what they're doing before they even touch him. So this is why the strength card comes up. He needs someone who is strong, who is very aware of how to deal with someone with these type of spiritual attachments. I don't feel demon possession though. I don't feel demon possession with him. I don't know why, but I don't. I just feel like he has attachments on him and it's not a good attachment. A spirit has attached to him and has influenced him to do these things and it's someone in his bloodline. So I don't know if somebody from his family watches this. Y'all need to look back in y'all family tree and see if there was someone that was a murderer who was very abusive towards women, something. Because this person is influencing him. This person has taken a liking to him and this person has been with him since he was a kid. I don't know if he was the type of kid to have imaginary friends, but I feel like this person has been talking to him and influencing him as a kid, and they may have thought he, it was an imaginary friend, but it was actually a great cousin or a great uncle or grandpa that was influencing him and has stayed with him throughout his years and have caused him to... To do these things, who have influenced him spiritually to do these things. People don't understand the spirit world is real. It's, it's real, y'all. Spirits can attach to you and make you commit murder. Spirits can attach to you and make you start smoking and drinking, doing things that you never did before. So this is very important. That's why spiritual uh, uh, protection is important. This is why dealing with trauma is important. Because when you have trauma in your life, you haven't dealt with that. People on the other side, the spirits on the other side who may have committed those murders or may have committed those crimes will attach to you, okay? If there's a person in the spirit realm who likes to smoke and you smoke, that spirit will linger and attach to you or be in your home just because you smoke. Or if you drink a certain uh, alcohol that a person on the other side had loved to drink, Guess what they're going to do? They're going to hang out in your house. I'm not playing. Y'all don't have to believe me, but this is how it goes. Okay? This is how it is. So he has a spiritual attachment from someone in his family. He, he lacks direction. That's why he had the compass card here. Even as a child, his mother trying to tell him to do the right thing. That pastor trying to help him get on the right path. He has no direction. He has no sense of direction. He has no common sense. He doesn't have good judgment at all okay he's gonna always be the opposite he's gonna always do the opposite of good okay so this is what these cards mean for him so what else we need to know about him spirit what else we need to know about your degree all right let's see shadow self narcissism music Renewed soul, trance, fertility. Wow. Look at these cards, y'all. The narcissism card, trapped. He was definitely trapped within himself mentally. He is definitely a narcissist, which makes sense. It definitely makes sense. 
He definitely was in need of shadow work. That's why the shadow self card comes up. So this is the main card of the deck. So if this card comes up, you know for a fact, this person is dealing with some real, real sinister stuff or in need of healing, deep, thorough healing, <laughs> you know? So that's why this card came up. Um, fertility card, you know the women that he killed had children or was pregnant. That's significant. And this is why this fertility card came up. For some reason, he has some kind of animosity against women, especially women with children. Even though they're his children, he he doesn't like that. Something about that turns him off, even though they're bearing his children. This is why this card came up. Speak spirit, speak spirit, because I don't think he's been very voiceful of why he did this, why are you doing this? Spirit is saying he has an issue with women, with mothers, women who have children, women who have children. So you notice the first woman was pregnant. He killed her. He killed her while she was pregnant. And the second woman, he killed his two children and her other two children, all four children. This is to get back at the women. For some reason, he does not. He says he wants this life, but when he gets a certain life, he changes. He doesn't see the women as he did before. Speak spirit. He doesn't see them as the same anymore. Have you ever heard of a man who say they're not attracted to women with children? That's him. He's not attracted to that. Something about that rouse him up something about that and like that's that's why i said that spiritual influence from that ancestor i don't know who it is but somebody in his his ancestral line influence influences him and this person hated children they abuse women with children they abuse women in general and they kind of passed that on to him Y'all, I'm telling you, we are in a spiritual warfare. You guys don't understand. A lot of things people do is not because they just mentally throw it off. Sometimes the spirit influenced. Not all the time, but sometimes. And he was spiritually influenced, okay? And this is what this card represents. This represents these women. These represent the children. And the reason why he does that, he has some kind of animosity, something about a woman with children or seeing a woman pregnant or whatever changes his view of them. He doesn't, he starts to despise them and the children. This is why he kills them to hurt, to hurt them. Or he feels like it's going, it does something to him. I don't know why it's crazy. Like I feel even though they're his seed or, you know, he has a, a part in raising them. It's like he's killing part of himself when he kills them. And something about them being an extension of him, he does not like. It's weird. But that's that's what, what it's showing me. That's what these cards are showing me. Um, and the music card is just saying that everything was, it, it was no harmony. That was like, for me, the music card is, is about harmony. It's about um you know, happiness, music brings happiness and harmony. That was the opposite for him. He has no harmony inside of himself. There was no harmony. There was no no um, high vibrations. Uh, and he was always very dark because of his narcissistic personality and his shadow self. Okay? He was a narcissist. I mean, like I said, he was a player. Most players and, and think they're all that in the bag of potato chips, they are narcissists. So that makes sense. So this is what spirit is showing us with the shadow oracle deck about him. The things he was dealing with within himself. But I feel the main card we need to look at is the fertility card for him. Something psychologically makes him tick when a woman is pregnant or has his children. They need to look into that. All right, so that's going to be it for this portion of the reading. Let's ask the other question. I want to ask about this pastor. Why did this pastor help him? Why did the pastor help him get out of prison? Because I would let his behind rot. 
he's not using, he's lacking common sense. He's not listening to his angels. You're looking at the book and what the book is saying, but you're not listening to your, your own intuition, your angels who's speaking to you. Who's speaking to you? He's blocked. He's blocked. Oh, why did this man help him? Why was this man helping him? Okay. So we have the first card we have here. The overall energy is the five of cups. He wanted to help this man out of the situation that he's in. He felt like he can help him with this darkness. He felt like he can help him come out of this negative space in his life. He felt like whatever evilness, whatever darkness that was around or surrounding or in Gregory, he can help getting him out of that he wanted to help him get out of that he felt that uh gregory was being open and honest with him about his his the things that he's done so i feel like him and the pastor have had one-on-one -on -one conversations where the pastor felt that gregory was being honest with him and i feel like some of those conversations that the pastor had with gregory he has not made mention he needs to make mention of those those conversations because it will answer a lot of questions as to why this man did what he did especially what he did to his family the pastor did not listen to his angels even though he's supposed to be a pastor and he teaches people to listen to god listen to your angels he himself did not do that. He did not listen to his gut. I feel like the angels in his spirit, his grandchildren are saying, Papa, you did not listen. Papa, you did not listen. They are saying that your angels tried to tell you. They tried to tell you and you did not listen. So this is, this is what it is saying. The three of swords, heartbreak. Um, the pastor is very heartbroken about what this man has done. But he still doesn't realize his role that's what's been like i feel like he still don't realize what he did i still feel like he believes he did the right thing he has it's not his fault that this man did this he feels bad but i felt like really understand his role in the deaths of his grandchildren he should he know he, he feels it he feels it a little bit, but not the extent where he needs to feel it. He making excuses. He's making excuses. He's saying, well, he was tricked. He was kind. No, you knew what this man did and you didn't listen to your inner voice. You didn't listen to your intuition. You didn't listen to your angels. Okay. You was too busy trying to make him free or to look good. For some reason, in this case, Gregory did something for him personally. Or whatever he was doing. I don't know if he's in politics outside of being a pastor. But it did something for his persona. For how people viewed him. He got some kind of credit or something. I don't know. People need to look into that. But I feel the reason why he helped Gregory wasn't all just because he was doing a good deed. He got something out of the deal. He got something out of the deal. And he's heartbroken, of course, about what happened. But something about Pastor. Pastor didn't. Mm -mm. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. I don't know. I feel like he was gaining something from Gregory's release. Let's see what else the cards say. I don't know. Pastor ain't looking too good to me. Something is some kind of deal he got. I don't know if he was promised something or the church or, you know, it made him look a certain way. But something along those lines, y'all. Page of Wands. And he promised this man his daughter. He promised Gregory his daughter. The page of wands, four of wands, six of cups. Look at this, y'all. There was a conversation. Like, Gregory talked to him about his daughter prior to even getting out of prison. Regarding marrying her. 
and having children with her. They were friends before he went to prison. So he was all he already knew Faith. He had to have known her. Or she was visiting him in prison too. But something, a conversation was had. He knew that Gregory was going to marry his daughter. So maybe Faith and Gregory had already established a relationship while he was in prison. And his daughter was in love with him. So this is another reason why he was so adamant about getting this man out of prison. What? <laughs> what? That's the energy, y'all. Look, Hermit, Strength, King of Wands. Yeah, man. <laughs> he he talked to this. He talked this man into to helping him, and he also. I don't know, man. This is like some arranged marriage type shit. This is some arranged marriage type shit. What else? Oh, yes. Yes, this was planned. That marriage was planned. It was planned before he was released from prison. So she had a relationship with this man while he was in prison. Or they were talking or whatnot. And she already knew his intentions. Or she had fell for him. Look, the lover's card. The nine of cups. Yeah, y'all. Women, y'all have to really start loving yourselves and knowing your worth. For real. Because faith didn't know that. And he used these people's kindness. As you saw, he's a narcissist. Narcissists seek out certain type of people to surround themselves with. Okay? He intentionally build a relationship with the pastor and his daughter that it will be easy to manipulate them. So this is what happened. He knew it. He knew it. He knew that if I can get these people on my side, I know that I can get them to, to believe me. I would get out of prison and he starts showing his true colors. He starts showing his true colors. She was very blinded, very, very blinded. All right, so what we have. And the crazy thing, guys, he did good as far as providing, being a nurturer, um, protecting his family at some point before he flipped out on them. The King of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. They fit well together at first. She was the queen of pentacles. He was the king of pentacles. They were doing things to be successful as far as business, as far as with the church. They were a good team. They worked well together. They were making moves together. So when he got out of prison, he put it on thick, you guys. He sat up there and was doing all of the work. He was being a model citizen, he was being a husband, he was being the provider. And she had her things that she was doing as well. And they worked well together. They were really doing good for themselves as a family. The tower card we have is in reverse. At first it was this. So there was a lot of, um, just a lot of drama and a lot of confusion and, and, and hurt going on. But he kept apologizing. And saying things would be different and saying that he's not that person anymore and all of that. So this is why you see the tower in reverse. Every time he would do something or he would fuss or yell, become abusive, he would then come back around and say, I'm sorry. I don't know why I did this. I am not that person anymore. Now remember, these are very spiritual people. So he did use a lot of spiritual um, wordings or, you know, say things like, you know, it's nothing but the devil coming in and trying to attack me and attack our family. Let's pray. So there was a lot of times when he did go off on her or show those aggressive, um, or show his aggressive side or become abusive towards her, he will always flip it and say, this is nothing but, you know, an evil spirit. It's nothing but, you know, something trying to influence our, our home and asking her to pray. So she'll pray and she'll probably call her father to pray. And they trying to figure out how to help him. But at a certain point, she was like, no, I cannot do this anymore. The nine of swords. I cannot do this anymore. You are not 
being the person that you say you were you say you wanted to change but you are not changing you're not changing you're not changing so she just like the first woman started to be in the process of leaving him i feel what else we need to know death judgment these two cards came up earlier y'all high priestess intuition three of cups the temperance um, we have the high priestess, intuition, knowingness, knowingness. And you see the baby here? This is her. She was like, okay, I have to consider my kids. I have to consider my family. So even though she shouldn't even dealt with this man in the first place, y'all, I'm not going to even uh, dismiss that. But at some point, she started to use her better judgment. She started understanding, hey, I need to get away from this. I'm tired of these secrets. And we have the moon in all three of these cards, in the death card, the judgment card, and the high priestess. So this signifying deceit, deceit on Gregory's end. She started to see um, past the smoke screen. She started to see him like, okay, this is not working. I have my children to think about. I need to start thinking about my future and their future. So she started to truly listen to her intuition. She started to listen. This caused him to go off the deep end, y'all, just as it did with the first woman that he murdered. Okay? All right. What else do we need to know? Ace of Swords star two of cups in reverse yeah yeah her coming into the realization that this is not gonna work her realizing that this man was juggling more than one relationship being a cheater he was cheating on her y'all he was cheating on her he was cheating on her she decided it's time for me to go you are not who you say you were so this is basically what these cards are saying you said you was going to be this man. You said we was going to have this life. You said we was going to build this life together. We are going to have these riches. We was going to be okay. We was going to be loved. We was going to be protected. And you did not do those things. So when she prepared to leave, that is when he decided that, oh, no, I'm going to fix you. Oh, so let me see what Spirit has to say regarding that day. The day he decided to kill those beautiful children. Before I get to the next question, I do want to add, I do feel as if Faith has something going on with her mentally. And this is not to talk about her, like I empathize with her. And of course, right now she is going to have something going on mentally because she has lost all four of her kids. But I'm talking about prior to this happening. I don't know if she has some kind of personality disorder, but I feel like something isn't all the way there. Um, I feel she is a beautiful person. I believe she has the sweetest spirit. I believe she would not hurt anyone. And she doesn't do well with making decisions. All right. So that's one thing I wanted to add before I get to the next question. I truly pray for her. I pray for her well-being. I pray for her strength every day. But that's just something I want to add to that. A lot of people are talking down on her and saying she should have known better. But I don't think she actually has like the sense like everybody else typically has. All right, so let's get to the next question. So we want to talk about the day of the murders. Why did he kill those children? What made him... We already talked about what the issues are, but I want to know what was going on that day. Like what was going on through his mind that day. We know it was premeditated. If you read up on this, you know that it was premeditated. Um, So what happened like why that day why did he pick that particular day like whatever the cards want to show me regarding that that's what i want to know why did gregory kill those babies on that day what happened that day that led up to those murders the state of mind all right. Hmm. 
These aren't bad cards. Maybe he was trying to profess his love for her at some point that day. That's what I'm saying. I feel like that day, he must was trying to do like one last plea. Like trying to tell her, I love you. I want to be with you. I want our family. I'm going to change. Uh, we can do this. You know, just give me another chance. Even though it was premeditated, maybe this conversation happened because these cards aren't bad. I feel like a conversation happened where he probably tried to plead his case one more time. Like, okay, if she gives me the answer I want to hear, then I won't kill them, basically. Um, so he laid it on her, maybe apologizing profusely, saying all of this. Because in his mind, he's like, I don't want to do this, but you're going to make me do this. You're going to make me do this if you don't give me the answers that I'm looking for. Show me, spirit. Yeah. He was pleading for his case. He was pleading. He was begging her not to leave. The Six of Swords. Yes, y'all. He was, he was trying to plead with her. And she was like, no, something happened, y'all. He was pleading his case and she was like, no. Like basically saying, I'm going to hurt you if you don't give me the answers that I'm looking for. I'm going to say I love you. I'm going to say I want you to stay. I'm going to say I'm going to change. I'm going to say all these things. And if you don't feed into what I'm telling you, if you don't give me the answers I want to hear, I'm going to kill them. I'm going to kill the children. So he pre it was premeditated for sure. But he only, he killed them because she didn't give him the response that he was looking for. What else? Yeah, he was looking for he was looking for her to to go with what he was saying. Yeah. Yeah, guys. She was not she wasn't changing her mind. She was like no, this isn't working. And he kept on saying, you know, I'm going to do better. We're going to do better. And I feel at some point, too, they start struggling financially. Um, he started doing weird stuff with the money. She wasn't happy about that. She wasn't happy about that. And she got tired of the lies. She got tired of the lies. She got tired of the lies. Swords. Yeah, she got tired of the lies. He was cheating on her. See, three of swords, page of cups. She started calling him out on his bullshit, just like the first woman did. He does not like that. He doesn't like to be called out on his bullshit. She started calling him out on his bullshit. And she, I don't know, she may have said I'm leaving or something along those lines, but he clicked. He was like, if she does not give me the response I am looking for, if she does not respond in the way I need her to, if she doesn't go along with what I'm telling her, I am going to kill them, meaning the children. I don't think he ever had a plan on killing her. He wanted to make her suffer. And the way to make her suffer was killing the children, even his own blood children. Sick. What else we need to know, spirit? What else we need to know? Yeah, y'all. Yeah, these cards are just speaking to me of somebody pleading their case, begging for their family, wanting her to listen, wanting her to do what he wanted her to do. Him, you know, you know, just lying to her giving her telling her things she wants to hear wanting her to believe him believe what he is saying to her and she was like she had really got the strength to say no this is not what's going to happen i am tired we're just done we're just done um i feel like when she felt like that when she knew she wanted to to get away from him, she should just left the house she should just left she should have just left. Spirit is saying she should not have said anything. She should have just left the house. And I think I heard that she was actually, even though she said she didn't want to be with him anymore, they were still living together. So I think she had, they were separated in the house, but still living together. And I think that day he probably was pleading with her like, look, 
I love you. Let's make it work. But when she realized she didn't want to be with him anymore, she should have just up and left. She shouldn't have stayed in the house with him. Nothing like that. She just went to the church, stayed at the church, something. She should have just left the house altogether. That's what I'm feeling. See, we got the five of pentacles. Strength. Yeah, she should have took her strength. And left that fool. She should have left that relationship. She should have left it. I don't care. She should have left that house. Call everything. And just left him. Left him. But she in her mind didn't think that he would do to her like he did to the first woman. And this was mind boggling to me. For some apparent reason, she felt as if he would not do that to her. And that's why I say something is off there. Something's not right there. And I pray for faith. I pray that she, you know, she undergoes the the healing that she needs. She sees, you know, who she needs to see to help her mental state. But something here is telling me that she did, she didn't feel that he would hurt them. Even, even, even after this man has been convicted of murdering a woman and his unborn child. That is what I don't understand. I don't understand. And all this speaks of low self-esteem. <sighs> Man, this is crazy. All right, so I'm going to pull out my um, mediumship deck. Because I want to see if the kids have a message for their mom. I didn't want to get into the murders like that because it's just too heartbreaking. If you want to know more details of the murder, please look it up. Google it. You can Google Gregory Green um, and you'll find out details about how he did it. Um, I just don't want to discuss that. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to use my Talking to Heaven deck. And I want to see if her beautiful children has a message for her and the family or for everyone on today. I call upon the children of Faith Green. If you have a message for your mom, please use me as a vessel to relate that message to her in the world. All right. Wow. Wow, this last card. Let me move these cards over so you guys can see. Okay, so the first card we have here is, I have no more earthly worries. They want their mom to know that they have no worries. They're okay. They're in the light. You see the sun? This is verifying that they're in the light. They in the light. We have no more earthly worries. I am sorry. Please forgive me. And this card, I feel like, is regarding the oldest children. I don't know if she may have had problems with maybe the daughter or son, but she would know. Um, so if she was having issues with them, or you know how teenagers are, maybe they was just being typical teenagers. They want their mothers to know, mommy, I'm sorry. I do love you. You know, I didn't mean any of those things. I was just being a typical teenager. They just want to verify and let her know, like, mommy, I'm sorry. Please forgive me if I ever, you know, made you feel bad or said something to hurt you, um, or just being a typical teenager and just not realizing who you were in my life and not, you know, showing you as much love as I wanted to. All right, the third card we have, we are soulmates. Her kids will always be with her. They will always be influenced on her. They will always be connected to their mommy. They're with their mommy all the time. If I know what I know now, I would have lived differently. So this is regarding her son. I don't know what type of kid he was. He's not showing me that. But I feel like something he was not doing or he was hiding from the world maybe she knows it but he was not being his true self he was not being out like he needed to be out um i feel like maybe he was 
I don't know. He just wasn't living life fully. He may have had a lot of insecurities about something, but he's not showing that to me. She will only know that. But he's saying that he wished he would have lived life differently. The next card we have, I am learning over here. You know there were kids, so they are still learning. They're, their loved ones on the other side are with them, still showing them things, helping them. So the babies are still learning. They are still learning just like typical children. They are on the other side with loved ones who are helping them, okay? So this is what they're saying. They're just verifying that for her. And this last card is the most powerful card that I have laid out here. And this is something that she needs to know. Her babies want her to know this because she struggles with this guilt every single day. It is not your fault, mommy. It is not your fault. I don't care what the media says about you. I don't care. You had no idea. And I feel they know of their mother's mental state or incompetence, you know? Because they're on the other side. They see things that we don't see. They see things from the past. They see things in the present. They see things in the future. And they want her to know, it's not your fault, mommy. You could not help it. You could not help it. You did what you can do at the last point of that relationship. And that's all that matters. You recognized it. And then you tried to do something about it. And it's just unfortunately that what you were trying to do, it didn't come forth. But it is not your fault. And he just really manipulated you. He manipulated the situation. He used your niceness, your love, um, and God. So... This is not your fault, mommy. This is not your fault. And we love you. Okay, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gave you some insight into the situation with Gregory and Faith and the murders of these beautiful children. And his if you person. haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I would love to have you in the Magic Tribe. I also click the notification bell so you can know when I make my next video. You'll be the first notified. Also, if you want to purchase my decks, I will have the links in the description box below so you can purchase my shadow oracle deck and the under construction deck my um love and attraction oracle deck is not available yet so i will let you guys know when it is available um okay so i'm gonna go ahead and shut this reading i love you all if you have any comments about this case comment in the comment section have you heard of this case yeah just let me know all right you guys i love you all and until next video Peace and blessings.